My name is Richard Faria and I'm going to show you how to use Stream My Game to broadcast your games at LAN parties so everyone can watch you play your game live. Now, for this demonstration we're going to need a little bit of imagination and we've got to imagine that I've decided to have my own LAN party and I've invited my three cousins, Huey, Dewey and Louie, to come and watch me play. Now, I've turned up with my PC and this is an XP uh, PC running a Windows XP. It's got a dual core Intel processor in it, not a new one, uh, quite an old dual core processor. It's got an X850 graphics card, so again not a new graphics card, a, a bottom to middle of the range now graphics card and it's got two gigabytes worth of RAM in it. And it's connected via an Ethernet cable to this little router over here which is um, a, a wireless G router but it's also got four Ethernet network cables and I'm actually plugged into the Ethernet network cable at the back of it. Now the first cousin Huey has turned up to the LAN party but all he could get was this laptop and this is a uh, quite an old laptop it's a 1.2 gigahertz Celeron it has uh, an M200 ATI graphics card, so that's, that's a very old integrated graphics chip on it, and uh, certainly by today's standards, and it's only got 256 meg of RAM, and that's plugged in with an Ethernet cable over to the, um, to the router as well. Dewey has turned up to the LAN party, and he's turned up with, with, with this computer, um, but he doesn't use Windows, he actually uses Ubuntu Linux. So he's actually running Linux on his PC. So we're going to broadcast to him on Linux. And the third cousin, Louis, hasn't turned up with anything. So what we've decided to do with Louis is we've put him in our living room and we've sat him in front of our television set and our, our PlayStation 3 and he's going to watch the broadcast on his PlayStation 3. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go onto the Stream My Game website and I've logged in already and I'm going to click on the Your Games button and we'll scroll down to the your, your, through, through My Games and I'm going to go to this first one here, Supreme Commander and I'm going to press this button here which is Broadcast Games at Home and that basically is going to capture this game and it's going to broadcast it right the way over the network to all of the sockets on this router so that anyone who's connected to that router can connect to it, use our player to view me playing the game live. So let's click this button here. I've also already installed the Stream My Game server and it's running and it says connected ready to launch games. So that's all ready to go and we're going to start off the broadcast. We click on here and the broadcast we're going to do is at si is at 800 by 600, so it's SVGA, 2 megabits per second and I'm doing it with uncompressed raw audio. So let's click on this button. It's asked me if I want to use my saved username and password, which I I'm going to say yes because I've already entered that into the system. And now it's going to launch Supreme Commander and begin broadcasting it over my local network. And there's Supreme Commander uh, starting up. Now what you'll notice is if you look at the router down here and you look at all of these lights, you can see they're all blinking very, very fast now. And that's because the images and the audio from Supreme Commander are being sprayed across the local network. Um, so that everyone can view it. And we call that multicasting. So that's Supreme Commander starting up and now I'm going to Huey's computer and I'm going to get Huey connected up to the broadcast so that he can watch his play live. So again I go to your games and now when I click on the Your Games button and I scroll down, you can see that we've just got the Broadcast button available now, rather than all of the other services. We click on that, 
quantum gate networks let humanity push deeper and deeper into space. Countless planets were colonized. Governed by the Earth Empire, humanity entered a golden age of peace and prosperity. The pace quickened. A human brain was successfully joined with an artificial intelligence by Dr. Gustav Brackman. The symbionts were born. Eventually, humanity's more base instincts took hold, and the thread began and now, to unravel. We've got the Huey watching the broadcast live. The Earth Empire's response. Now we're going to go to Huey's computer, and he's running Ubuntu, we're going to your Dr. games, Brackman and when I go to your games, because the broadcast has already started, they would fight for their freedom. An alien race called the Seraphim was discovered by human colonists. The Seraphim introduced the settlers to something called the Way. And this is our Linux player. But despite those peaceful overtures, I'm going to use my saved username and password. And now we've got Huey and Dewey both watching the broadcast live. But I'm going to escape past some of these titles, go into the game, so you can see that this is a real live broadcast. You can watch me moving the mouse. I'm going to switch into campaign. And you know what? At this point, what happens is Louis says, hey, what about me? So let's go over to our living room and we'll get Louis rigged up on the PlayStation 3 so he can watch the broadcast on the PlayStation 3. So here I am with Louis in the living room and uh, we've started off the PlayStation. I've gone over to our home page and logged in to the Stream My Game website and I'm going to click on this broadcast button so that we can now watch the same broadcast of the game here on our PlayStation 3 in our living room. Defensive perimeter. But it's not an option now. Will we claim the systems lost to the end of the second? And so now we're broadcasting a game and we're watching it on Windows XP or Windows Vista or Linux on a PC or Linux on a PlayStation. And that's how you broadcast games with Stream My Game. Yes, sir. One final thing, Mr. President. A new group of commanders is coming online. One of them. 